In the 1920s, the astronomer Edwin Hubble discovered that distant galaxies are racing away from us. The further away they are, the faster they're retreating. If you run the film backwards, there must have been a time when everything we can see today was much closer together. And that means it was much hotter. Run it backwards still further, and you come to a time where everything was crammed into a tiny space, unbelievably hot and dense. Hubble's discovery points to the universe having a definite beginning, a moment of creation 14 billion years ago. It's been very interesting that over the past few decades, scientists have pretty much all come to the agreement that our universe, the one we live in, had a pretty spectacular beginning. It's sometimes referred to as the Big Bang. And scientists now are sort of down into the weeds trying to understand the details of what might have set that off and what happened in the tiny fractions of time after this began and what happened in the subsequent billions of years of history of the universe subsequent to the Big Bang. But many scientists haven't liked the idea of a moment of creation. Arthur Eddington was a famous physicist early in the 20th century. This is how he put it. The notion of a beginning of the present order is repugnant to me. I should like to find a genuine loophole. I simply do not believe the present order of things started off with a bang. The expanding universe is preposterous. It leaves me cold. In fact, scientists were so repelled by the idea that in 1948, Fred Hoyle, Tom Gold and Herman Bondi devised the steady-state theory, the idea that the universe is eternal, even though it's expanding. But this theory was doomed. In 1964, two scientists, Arno Penzias and Robert Wilson, discovered by accident a low-level radio signal coming from space all around us. This signal has just the temperature that the leftover echoes of the Big Bang should have. The discovery of this cosmic microwave background strongly confirmed the Big Bang, and it killed off the idea that the universe has always existed. The Big Bang is one of the most awesome things we can think about or talk about. Uh, it is not just that the entire universe, not just this room or the Earth or our solar system or our galaxy, but everything. Uh, came out from this very tiny, tiny ball of incredible energy. And with all this potentiality, it has unfolded into uh, such an astonishing and beautiful and congenial place for uh, human intelligence to operate. Uh, I'm not sure what's the most awesome part that it all could be in that small ball of energy, or that so much interesting material could unfold out of it. So this is the classical picture of the Big Bang. The universe had a definite beginning 14 billion years ago as a tiny speck of immense energy at an incredibly high temperature. Many scientists now admit that this picture points to something beyond space and time. Could it even be a hint of a supernatural creator? Next time, we'll ask our expert astronomers and physicists how they see the relationship between science and faith. <laughs>